It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, and I'm a Grandmaster Ranked Online Risk Player. And for you today, I have another episode on my Grandmaster Rank Up series. That's episode number 33, where we take Ranking McUpperton as far up the FFA leaderboard as we can by playing in mostly other people's lobbies in various settings across the games. But once again, we're back at Classic Fix because that's the only game I can find right now worthy of playing. So let's bring up the numbers. I'm first act. I've got a, it's a five player game. So the, the board will be naturally less crowded. I have material in Europe and in North America. I really have to decide between the two of them here. Plus I need to get a take. Okay, so I want to go for North America. So I'm going to get my take. I'm going to put as much material as I can in North America. I want to leave both of my options open. So I'm kind of point my troops at North America. But I could really, the way things are set up, I could really go either way still. So I'm not really committing to one, but I'm sort of indicating that I would prefer North America. Europe might actually be the better plan, but I think that red is going to going to fight me uh, for Europe. They've got a lot of material. They've got eight troops inside Europe. They've got three troops here in Sy or is that Ural? Yeah, in Ural. And they also have a big seven stack over here in uh, Irkutsk, uh, Yakutsk, sorry, the, one of the coldest places on Earth. Apparently, it's quite often minus 70 degrees in Yakutsk. And in the deep of winter, in order to start a car, uh, they actually have to put a tent over the car and then and then put a gas heater on the block. Okay, so it looks like Orange is going to come into South America. Are they going to point towards me at North America? Maybe they're going to point put everything into Venezuela here and give Blue a, a route out. Or they'll just do absolutely nothing and make it impossible for anyone to know what they're doing. Okay, so they'll do a useless fortify of one troop over. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the settings for today's game. They are world domination on the classic map, auto setup, 60 second turn timer, medium automated bots. We're not starting with any today. Fixed cards, balance blitz dice, no rank restrictions, alliances are on, but everything else is off. So I'm in the first position with my rank up account, Ranky McUpperton, currently ranked as a Grandmaster with 27,787 FFA points. Uh, with a 54 win, 55 loss ratio. Uh, in second position, playing as orange, we have Xander. Okay, black punches one way two stacks. Oh well. We have Xander Moveborn from the United States of America playing as orange. I'm going to ask for an alliance with them because they're crazy. Uh, in the third position, playing as black, we've got Thodos, one two, from my home country, Canada. In the fourth position, playing as blue, we have Schley LaRoche. For the United States of America. It looks like they're going to fight Orange for South America. And in the fifth and final position from Spain, we have Alpha Sewell, and they're playing as Red. So I think I want an alliance with Red as well. Let's see what Red does. Because if Red migrates out of Europe, which I don't think they're going to do, uh, then I will point, I will, I'll take the Europe play. I might even take the Europe play now. Look at that. Blue just absolutely smokes orange. So orange and orange is left with 15 troops. Blue's down to 20. Um, yeah, this is why you let people out or you don't attack continents that already have eight stacks in them. Okay, so red has indicated that they clearly... Yeah, I'll accept that alliance. They clearly want Europe. So I'm going to vacate Europe like crazy. So let's just put a couple there. Let's get the hell out of Europe. Oh, maybe I should bring this four down. You know what? 
this is fine. Um, I'm gonna have to go on the sl slow claim here. Unless, of course, if orange punches a four stack. Yeah, I don't think they would. I'll give them a path out next turn. They can probably also follow... Uh, they can probably follow Black out as well. I imagine Black is leaving North America as well. So on my next turn, I can punch this two stack of red, bring the four down, hang out down here, and let them go either way. Okay, so we see black take Australia, not the strongest hold on it. Blue could actually interrupt that if they really wanted to, but it looks like they're not going to. So blue's going to punch North Africa and bring this two in. Yeah, imagine this two is coming in. Maybe it goes on the four. Maybe it goes. Okay, so they leave the two there in Africa. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to punch yellows, t uh, reds too. I could get a take here with this four, but I want to get everything out of the way here. So I am going to punch this two. Only lose a troop, that's fine. And let's bring this four stack down. And now there's options for orange to leave. They could also stay and interrupt me. So orange politely asked to attack my territory. Maybe they punch into Greenland, pull the four in. Who knows? If they split here, that's not going to make a lot of sense. They should at least combine those armies. Okay, cool. Oh, no, they... Another bad fortify. They should have moved them all. Oh, it gives an angry face because I think he wants Black to move out of the way. And it looks like Black's going to do that. Fantastic. Pull the four out. Amazing. Now, do I have a set on three? I don't. Okay, so it looks like red's going to finish Africa. Oh, sorry, uh, Europe. So I'm going to be a bit behind blue, black, and red. Now, that's the wrong... Th you don't roll the 2v1 unless you have to. You should have just rolled the 9v1 right away. That cost you a troop. Hmm. 
Now, if orange doesn't trade here, I don't have a trade though. That's too bad. And orange does trade. So this could be a problem for me. Okay, so maybe it's me who has to leave. Oh, orange is gonna punch. This is perfect. Orange and blue quits. So blue blue can dish it out, but can't take it. You had that one coming, Blue. Now, Black could really just kill Blue here. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm going to be holding five cards with 24 troops, possibly less. Okay, so Blue bot tr trades. Ooh, oh, don't hit my two, don't hit my two, don't let me be easier to kill, don't hit my two. Oof. Yeah, so this is the most cr gonna be the most critical turn for me. Can I survive with five cards? We will find out. This is very important turn for me. Let's hope we don't lose a troop here. We don't. So now we find out if we live or if we die. People, red can kill me. Red might just do that. Uh, blue, blue, blue can't kill me. They're a bot. Orange won't be able to kill me. They're not lined up to do so. Um, black can't really. So it's really only red I have to worry about. And if I die, we lose a lot of rank points. This is the problem with ranking up playing a lot of classic fixed is sometimes you can't avoid a sixth or a fifth place. When you're ranked as a Grandmaster, a last place finish is devastating to your FFA points. I badly need red to not have a set on four, which is low odds. If red doesn't have a set on four, then the best they can do is put eight troops on top of that four. I wish when people bought it out that the bot would actually act quicker, right? Because the bot would have punched red there, and that would have been massive for me. But hey, you can't have everything go your way. 
Okay, so now we find. Oh no. So the bot makes it easier for me to get killed. Red puts in nine. Here comes their trade. Oh. Okay. Well, this is fantastic. I'm going to live to trade. How about that? Even though it's not much. I'm just going to hang out. I lose a troop, of course. I'm just going to hang out in North America. And a trade on three would be fantastic. I don't get it. Okay, so have I gone through the players? I don't think I have. So, yeah, I have. Okay, so who's who's a, who's a bot? So it's... I'm in a three-player game now. Three, three, ugh. and this is so common for classic fixed. Why, why would you join a game and only play for five minutes? That was probably pretty loud because I did that right in the microphone. So sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully this bot disrupts red. It really should. The bot should break red. Ugh. Now, how do you get so lucky? So I'm fighting for my life here. Okay, so red's going to trade. It's only the four trade, which is fantastic news. So red's going to punch into Australia. So red's going to win this game. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop them. There really isn't much I can do here. I'd love to kill blue, but I have zero access to them. I'm going to have to play very meekly, even if that's a word. I hope I don't have another no set on four. I don't. Okay, so that's good news. Maybe orange hits red. Okay, so orange is going to take the, the blue bot kill. That's good, so at least I'm guaranteed fourth place. I kind of need orange to get bigger here. Come on, bot. You gotta break red's Europe. You gotta break red in Europe for us. Ugh. Alright, the bot almost finishes Asia. So my hope here is that this bot disrupts red's game at some point. I do have an alliance with red.
Maybe I trade in here and I take North America and let's see if red lets me hold it. What do I want, Irkutsk or do I want Alaska? I want to keep Alaska. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to guard it at all. If my opponents want to break me, then I know where I'm at. I'm not powerful enough. Well, I'm not really powerful enough to, to bully Red around or to... I kind of have to let them dictate my game. Okay. Well, this is great. This is fantastic. Yes, and red, of course you don't like it. You hate it. That couldn't have been... That couldn't have been any better for me. Okay, so it looks like Red might chill here. Yeah. And they cock up their stacks. So I'm just gonna... Okay, orange wants me to attack red. I don't think I'm going to get involved. I don't think I'm going to get involved. Now, red has five cards here, so let's... All right, let's see. This is why I'm not going to get involved, is because I think this might get really hot really quickly. And my two final human opponents, my last two human opponents, might go to war, and if that happens, I'm the only one that's going to benefit. I don't even care if my North America gets broken right now. Okay, so red has a 10 trade, which is fantastic. Let's see this hit. Is red going to retaliate? They are going to retaliate. They're going to punch the crap. Yes. Oh, they should break me here, too. That's going to set them in. They should break me. So, if I have a set here, that would be fantastic. I don't. Oh, red's not going to break me. That's a mistake. Because what I'm going to do... Let's see how much red has. Red has 8, 15, 22 here. Yeah, so I'm actually... I'm actually going to crush red as much as I can.
and leave it open there. <clears throat> now let's see the bot spread. Imagine if black is back. Okay, let's hope the bot doesn't spread too much and leaves me with a continent. At least one. I'm probably going to be left with one. A set, please. Okay, cavalry. Now let's hope that red doesn't have a trade. I put in 13. I am going to use my plus eight trade. Sorry, red. Let's slider blitz this. Perfect. Oh, and they went offline. Gonna say good game, but... It is what it is. So, now I'm playing a bot. I got a crap trade, but... Should be enough for me to just break the bot in Africa. Oh, boy. Okay, I got lucky. Always... For Don't forget your slider blitz. <laughs> okay, so I think red was an in a big no, intermediate. I think red was an intermediate. Uh, where's my handy pen for writing down my? Okay, so I'm gonna go red intermediate. I think orange was was also an intermediate. Uh. Black, I'm gonna go with beginner. And blue, beginner as well. Okay, so this should be an easy bot cleanup. I'm gonna use my trade. And just take as much territory as I can. Amazing. So the bot should be dead even with a trade after this turn. Let's just move stuff there. Looks like we have an even win-loss record now with Ranky McUpperton, which is fantastic. We should be able to finish them off, the bot off next turn, because I'll be holding four continents. And the bot no longer has cards. Quite a lot of this bot does quite punch, does quite punch, does punch quite a lot of bit for a bot. Okay, 22, that's mm, going to be close, but it should be enough. I'm not going to slider blitz because I just don't care. That should be it. Boom! Amazing. So let's see how I did on my guesses. I said red and orange were intermediate, and I said black and blue were beginners.
Okay, so red was an intermediate. I got that right. Uh, orange was a straight-up novice. I was wrong there. Black, I said beginner. I was right. And blue, I said beginner, but blue is a novice. I was wrong, but I was very close. So decent guesses. So that's fantastic. Let's go see how we're doing now. Oh, right. So now you see that? I started off the round with 20, 27,787 points. I get a first place against beginners and novices and intermediates. And I only get 400 FFA points. If I'd come sixth in that game, uh, I would have lost at least around 2,000, maybe even more. Um, okay, so we should have an even win-loss record too now, which is fantastic. Yeah, 55 and 55. Fantastic. Excuse me. Um, well, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you like the video, please smash that like button for me. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you're one of the 80% of my viewers who hasn't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, and perhaps you and I can get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch, catch me when I'm live. My link is in the description. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.